Behold a host arrayed in white, like thousand snow-clad mountains bright. With palms they stand. Who is this band before the throne of light? These are the saints of glorious fame, who from the great affliction came. Saint Peter's Lutheran Church has been truly blessed with 150 years of serving the Lord through its church and schools. It is built on the rock-solid foundation of Jesus and His Word and has sprung up from the roots of its German heritage. In 1858, Pioneer Mission Pastor Fachtman, serving the Wisconsin Synod along the east shore of Lake Winnebago, met with a group of Lutheran residents in Fond du Lac. He received a warm welcome and ten children were brought to him to be baptized. Seeing this interest, Pastor Fachtman encouraged the people to form a new Lutheran congregation. A special service was held on Sunday, August 15, 1858, and 47 men were present to sign the Articles of Organization to form Avangelische Lutheranische St. Peter's Gemeinde. Early services were held in the Fond du Lac County Courthouse. The congregation, however, was eager for their own house of worship, and in March 1860, purchased the Congregational Church Building at the southeast corner of Mar and 2nd Streets for a cost of $700. In its early years, the church was served by a series of faithful pastors that included pastors Fachtman, Bonner, Kern, Meyerhoff, Streisgut, Mewman, and Heltzer. In 1869, the congregation undertook a large-scale building project. It purchased the property on South Mar Street between 1st and 2nd Streets for $3,700. The cornerstone for the church we know today was laid in May, and the church was dedicated on October 24, 1869. The original building was a frame construction without a signature steeple. The brick facade and steeple were added in 1873. In 1894, to celebrate 25 years since the dedication of the church, the young people gave the congregation three church bells that were installed in the steeple along with a tower clock. The dedication for these new additions was held on July 15th. This was also the first English language service that was conducted at St. Peter's. This building has been the center of all worship at St. Peter's for 139 years. You now are safe and blessed for From its beginnings, the members of St. Peter's were committed to providing Christian education for the children. In 1863, just five years after founding the church, St. Peter's Lutheran School was formed. It started in a two-story structure that was built on the church lot. The upper story served as a residence for the pastor, and the lower story provided classrooms for the school. Pastor Kern served as the first teacher. In 1869, the school building was moved to the corner of Mar and 2nd Street and a two-story addition was constructed. As the congregation grew, it became clear that a larger school was needed. In 1883, a new and larger building was completed to replace the old school. At the start of the 20th century, the congregation recognized the need for a modern facility that would meet their needs now and for the future. A new school building was dedicated in October 1903 with four classrooms and a basement for the heating plant and lavatories. A third floor was used as a community hall and provided space for athletic games. This building was later repurposed to provide space for Winnebago Lutheran Academy. The congregation continued to prosper and grow, and by 1921, the school had an enrollment of 315. Once again, the existing school building could not meet the needs of a growing congregation. Space was needed for three choirs, two women's societies, the young people's society, confirmation classes, and regular business meetings. Additional property was purchased, and a new school and community facility was built. The dedication for this building was held on November 8, 1925. 
The new school held eight classrooms, a dining hall and modern kitchen, an auditorium with a stage, a heating plan for the school, church, and old school, as well as a bowling alley and meeting rooms. This building served the congregation well over the past 83 years. A number of improvements were made during this time in order to meet the growing needs of the congregation. That you should go and bear much fruit I chose you out that you in the 1925 1926 school year, a ninth grade was added at St. Peter's that was the beginning of Winnebago Lutheran Academy. The congregation offered free use of its old grade school for conducting high school classes. In 1929, Winnebago Lutheran Academy awarded diplomas to its first 17 graduates. The school offered courses to prepare men and women for the preaching and teaching ministry as well as general education classes that would prepare individuals for a secular career. Commercial courses were added in 1933. In 1946, St. Peter's Congregation provided the leadership for planning and funding a new building for the high school. Twelve acres of land was purchased on East Merrill Avenue for $3,500. The cornerstone was laid on September 26, 1954, and the new building was dedicated on June 5, 1955. In 1972, and again in 1987, additions to the building included a large study hall, research center, commons, band rooms, a computer room, library, gymnasium, and additional classrooms and administrative space. This facility serves our needs today. St. Peter's congregation has been faced with many challenges and tests of faith over the past 150 years. In the late 1800s, membership and lodges, viewed as secret societies, posed a threat to the church. The congregation stood firm in its conviction that any member joining a lodge would lose his church affiliation. In that same era, a group of members endorsed the Reformed or Calvinistic views for broader fellowship at the Lord's Supper. When the congregation refused to move in this direction, these members decided to leave the church. A great fire in September 1908 burned the steeple down to the roof, but thankfully the building was spared. Repairs were completed quickly and the building was rededicated in January 1909. In 1960, because of concerns with the unionistic practices of the Missouri Synod, St. Peter's pastors requested that the church sever its ties with the Wisconsin Synod. When the congregation voted to remain with the Synod, both pastors and 400 communicant members left the church. Yet, God has been the rock on which the congregation was built, and he has led us through these challenges with his own guiding hand. Built on the rock, the church shall stand, even when steeples are falling. The history of the congregation has been carefully documented in the official church records. Thousands of baptisms, confirmations, marriages, and also funerals have been recorded over the past century and a half. As we look back over the years, we must marvel at the commitment the congregation demonstrated to God. The church has been updated from its original kerosene lights to gas lights and finally to electric lighting. The steeple was replaced after the Great Fire in 1908 and the church interior was updated numerous times over the years. In 1929, the same year as the stock market crash, the congregation had a debt of $61,000 for the new school building. Through voluntary altar offerings, an additional $24,000 was raised, and the entire debt was paid in full by the end of the Depression. Over the years, the church has undergone a number of renovations, but the basic tenets practiced by our forefathers remain constant. We are committed to the teaching of God's Word. We are God's house of living stones, Built for his own habitation. Once again, St. Peter's Congregation is on the brink of major change. The church and school buildings have served us well for many years.
but just like our forefathers so many years ago, we have committed to a major building program. Built in 1925, the current school building cannot meet today's needs. A major renovation would be needed to create handicapped access, upgrade the restrooms, and install an energy efficient heating system. The playground, which also serves as the parking lot, is unsafe and too small for sports like soccer or baseball. In 2005, the congregation purchased property on the south side of Fond du Lac and voted to build a new grade school. As planning and fundraising began, it became clear that the congregation's needs would be better served by a totally new church and school complex. This new church and school facility will not only meet today's needs, but will also create an environment to foster expansion and growth. The Congregation of St. Peter's Lutheran Church can look back over the years and be grateful for its commitment to serving the Lord. As we join together to celebrate the past 150 years, we rejoice in the courage and vision of our forefathers. As we look forward to continuing the ministry of St. Peter's Lutheran Church, the legacy of our ancestors will serve as a guide for years to come.